he is misunderstood. He just wants to find a cure. He just wants to be normal. The vampires are just super bougie. But these witches are good witches. Just don't get on the bad side of them. You know, I'm saying this word a lot today, but I mean, this is gonna be bougie. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and of course happy Halloween to you, happy Halloween week. So today I'm going to be doing a Halloween challenge. We are going to be doing Sims 4 Every Room is a Halloween Monster. I'm super excited for this one. I hope you guys are also. Make sure to like, comment and of course subscribe to my channel and let's get into today's spooky challenge. Okay, so this is my little mini haunted house. I think it's really cute and then of course we had to put like a little creepy graveyard in there. I've even caught a ghost in the act let's take a look on the inside and i must admit some of the monsters that live here are just honestly misunderstood some bits are painted some bits that aren't because of course we're going to do like each room so on this side we've got the kitchen we've got the lounge area here the dining room up here we've got two twin bedrooms here and then a bathroom here and then of course one bedroom at the top you already know where i'm gonna start i am gonna start in the kitchen so spin the wheel for the monster for the kitchen okay what is it gonna be a witch yay okay so we've got a witch for our kitchen so i think i'm gonna go in and change the walls up a little bit i don't want to go too dark i kind of want to change this wooden flooring to possibly maybe like a brown something lighter and these witches are good witches of course you know they practice all their spells and everything but i mean any potions and everything that they make it's only strictly for love or of course, you know, maybe money. That's about it. And this just gives me like kind of like witchy vibes. I'm really excited actually to do this one. So let's get the kitchen in. And I think I'm gonna go with vampires. Yes, I kind of like like the green kind of look. This kitchen as well is kind of large. When I was building this house, of course, you know, every room kind of needed to be kind of big. So maybe on this side, we could kind of do like our potions, like maybe like a cauldron. First, we'll get all the kitchen going. Of course, we need to put lotions and potions. So I'm going to put these cabinets here. And then I need to look for a cauldron. Oh, and of course, crystals and lots of herbs because gosh, witches love herbs. One thing that we cannot forget is a witch's room. She won't be going anywhere without that and of course a cat bowl because a witch cannot be without her cat and there it is the cute little black cat and i've actually got like a little black cat teddy bear i love it got the cauldron down and then i'm gonna put like quite a few little seats around here this is kind of like their meeting area where they create loads of different lotions and potions it's quite exciting actually oh and this little witchy little rug that's gonna go underneath then of course this is our little witchy kitchen so we've got lots of like little herbs everywhere little spell little potions and books and of course crystals and herbs these witches are good witches just don't get on the bad side of them moving on now we are gonna head into the the dining room so spin the wheel for our halloween monster hey so next halloween monster we have got is a vampire vampires are just super bougie and the flooring as well like vampires are just a little bit extra i don't know like let's give them this flooring because it is a little bit you know like classy and then of course straight away we are gonna go into the vampire pack because that pack is bougie as hell we'll pop some of these curtains up because of course you know they're not day walkers. They can't stand the sun, so they need a lot of darkness. I'm gonna have to add a bar because vampires, they like a bit of a drink now and again. If it's not blood, then it's alcohol. Of course, I always have some ideas up my sleeve. And this is what's up my sleeve because if you're a vampire, you're gonna wanna spend a lot of time underground. You're gonna wanna be sucking people's blood. So we're gonna have to go underground for this. Just adding the last of our lights and our cobwebs down here because this is our little dungeon with a locked door because we don't want anyone going anywhere. Not to mention the bars here too. I don't really know what this vampire's intentions are. He's not bad, but of course he does like to trap his prey and get the best blood around. On this side, he likes to keep track of the best tasting blood in the area. And then of course, this is a little map as well. So he goes on a little mission or two. And then these are like police documents just to make sure, you know, he's keeping a low profile. Then within the dungeon itself, we have some of these little drips. And then of course you can suck the blood from the humans, but they go into a blood bag. 
bag which then goes into a cool box or the fridge just to keep the blood at a good temperature and then some of these bits and bobs are probably some of the blood or supplements that he's made out of it there's lots of herbs and garlic on this side because believe me it has been a long time now that the vampires have been training themselves to become tolerant to these things a lot of their victim you know they seem to think that garlic's gonna keep them away but you know they're training themselves to tolerate these put like a little chest down here because i mean if some of these victims don't want to give up their blood i'm afraid there is some restraints in there some restraints that no human wants to see. Might as well turn this into kind of like a wine little cellar because I mean vampires they like to drink a lot of wine too. Wouldn't be a normal vampire's den if we didn't have their coffin because of course it's down in the dark and then of course we need some kind of like security guard and I know there is like a vampire teddy somewhere. There he is. This is a vampy bat which is our little security guard just to make sure the prisoners don't come out. They're staying where they need to be. So we've got a little security cameras going around everywhere just so you know we've got like a little monitoring tv everywhere just so the vampire can keep an eye on his victims and this is our vampire dungeon so we've got a little area here with those glassware where he can drink all of his blood we've kind of got like the little station here where he can store all of his blood of course where the victims are and i mean there is a radiator in there because he doesn't want his victims getting too cold so the lounge is the next room so spin the wheel for our next halloween monster okay, so next up we have got a ghost Ooh, so we got a ghost and of course he's got to be a friendly ghost you know and there is wallpaper that is perfect for this it's got all happy halloween ghosts so i'm gonna get our tables and chairs in i've got spooky stuff up for this because there is a few bits with ghosts on pop down a little rug area here and then i'm gonna put loads and loads of like candles and ornaments oh and pumpkins too and then lots of urns and everything and then of course i popped another ghost up here because we're gonna have some fun here we are gonna pop them here and there and everywhere and we're gonna add a massive piano here and lots of musical instruments because when the ghosts are playing the music i don't think they're trying to freak the people out here they're just trying to like show them how good they are at music but i guess if i heard the piano going and if i wasn't playing it i'd be freaked out too these people that i'm adding might be the people that might have unfortunately passed away but they still you know they're still running around in this house having the time of their life this is our friendly ghost room where there's a lot of musical instruments because they just love playing music so we have two bedrooms here and a toilet i think the next room i'm gonna do is the upstairs okay what are we gonna get this time a werewolf so we got werewolf for this room and i think i'm gonna do like a brown inspired kind of theme and this werewolf you know he means no harm then for the doors because he is a werewolf when there is a full moon i might actually have to put like a locked door down and if that isn't enough then maybe a cell door also because he really doesn't want to hurt anyone when it comes to the full moon he wants to make sure that he is locked in. Just gonna add some kind of like scratches on the wall because maybe he was having like a rough time and he started scratching at the wall. Maybe he was changing. I was also thinking maybe giving him kind of like a laptop as well so then he can monitor when the full moon is so he knows when to chain himself up. That's why I put like a calendar there as well so he can monitor when the full moon is. We put like a little mini fridge in there also because he's gonna be up here for some time maybe. Add loads of books here too because he has been spending a lot of time researching because he wants to be able to change back of lotions and potions everywhere because he's working alongside with the witches the witches and the vampires are both trying to help him you know find that cure so we're gonna add some little paw prints everywhere as well this is our little mini werewolf from here so of course we've got his station here where he tracks when the full moon is because he needs to lock himself in he's got his little snacks and everything and then of course we've got a lot of clothes on the floor because he goes through a lot of clothes okay so now we're gonna spin the wheel for the downstairs bathroom for our bathroom we have got a skeleton this is gonna be super fun so it's gonna be lots of blacks and lots of whites 
and this is where these little spooky lights come into hand so i'm gonna put these kind of like skull lights all the way around and then for the shower and the bathroom i think i'm gonna stick to like whites so we'll go for this white toilet here and then for the bath and the shower i might do actually this one so it's not necessarily white but it's definitely a spooky kind of like bath it's also not the nicest bath either of course lots of creepy cobwebs everywhere because although these people you know they're ghosts they're vampires they have a lot of time pretty much they're immortal but they still do not clean it would not be a proper bathroom without of course the skull guys themselves i mean i love these guys and of course our little skull panda is that a panda oh our skelly kind of bear i found like this cabinet with some skulls in it as well but i'm going to change it to white and then i've also got these towels because i really don't have enough room to put them anywhere so i'm going to pop them on top and then with that as well well, I'm gonna get some candles on there too. There we go, just on top like that. Because there wasn't quite enough room in the toilet, I found some more kind of like skull little bits and bobs there, which looks super creepy. Then lastly, I'm just gonna add a bunch of different candles everywhere. Let's just hope this house doesn't set on fire. Oh, I almost forgot as well. I'm gonna put like this little kind of like bone kind of like walk-in mat. And this is our skeleton room. So now we only have two more bedrooms and the house that spin the wheel for our our bedroom okay the will is spinning and we got frankenstein definitely for this we are gonna click green i definitely feel like frankenstein is misunderstood like he was created and of course he was created and he looked a little bit crazy and everyone judged him for that but really he was a kind man right and for Frankenstein, we're going to give him a green door. Perfect. Maybe I can kind of split this room up into a lab. So we've got the bedroom section here and then the lab because, of course, that was where he was made. Here we go. I really wanted some very bright kind of green curtains. I mean, everything in this room is going to be green. A bit of a squeeze in here, to be honest, because we've got like a dresser as well but i mean frankenstein he's gotta have it all I'm loving these light up green lamps like they're one of my favorites where are they from oh perfect patio stuff thank you we'll use these lamps these lamps are actually like very bougie lamps but they're also very green too and then we're gonna add also a cat bowl because like i said before the cat likes to go in every room he's welcome to go in every room but he goes in every room but the werewolf's room because he knows what happens on a full moon. Just adding pipes everywhere just to make it look very realistic. I've also added this really nice light. Then I need a very, there we go, a very big kind of bookshelf to go in here because it requires a lot of research. We've got lots of these bolts as well because that is what's on each side of his head, bless him. It's the black little bolts. We've also got like this doctor's chair as well that we're going to put in here. And then I'm also going to get some more lab bits some bobs like some machinery going added this green little robot as well and then we have like a little mannequin over here because perhaps these were some of the things that he might have built before he built frankenstein and then of course we've got like a doctor's light and then this is our frankenstein room where of course we've got the laboratory where he would create it in and then of course his very cute little green bedroom so moving on into the last bedroom of the house let's spin the wheel and see what we get okay the wheel is going and we got the devil because red is definitely the color of the devil so let's do like a nice kind of like red and oh this room is gonna be super bougie oh and then we've got like kind of like a red door in here and then do you know what for the flooring as well we're gonna do red flooring too so we've got this flooring or actually i quite like the vampire flooring that we had downstairs this one yes this just screams devil to me the devil we're gonna have kind of like these red lights going everywhere there's going to be a lot of red because of course it's hell and of course it's fire i mean the devil ain't great but i mean red is kind of nice i'm using these here just to section off because we're going to do a bar area here and then of course we're going to have like a fireplace here and a bed so everywhere is going to be very bougie i mean i'm saying this word a lot today but i mean this is gonna be bougie you have to put loads of candles everywhere because of course course he loves fire got a lot of these fire banners going on in this section here and a lot and a lot of candles lots of like bougie lamps going on everywhere and this is probably like the bougiest bed that i could find like it literally is perfect and then of course we're gonna do like a little like futon kind of like sofa 
this one maybe or actually this one is perfect then this rug definitely reminds me of hell i've never been but i mean it looks a lot like hell and to be extra bougie we're gonna put in a bar here put this in and then we'll get some extra kind of like plush there we go bar stools just to go there second to last thing is some love letters because i mean who doesn't like receiving love letters even if it's from hell and also a red cat bowl and then this is our devil room here with lots and lots of red and lots of fire let's do a little tour of the house so for the kitchen we got a witch and they are a very happy friendly witch unless you get on the wrong side of them but then this is their little room so got all their lotions and potions around we've got our black cat we got vampire for our dining room and we've got our secret passageway because i just thought you know it's just not enough so we head on downstairs and we enter into a little prison dungeon and i I mean you just wouldn't want to be there for our lounge we got a ghost and he is a very happy ghost here and we've got a lot of musical instruments as well because they do like to play a lot of music upstairs we of course got devil for one of our bedrooms here so a lot and a lot of candles and fire then we also got a skeleton here for our bathroom so lots of white and candles and in our other bedroom we got frankenstein so of course there's a lot of green here and then of course where he was created which is his little laboratory just on this section here i mean it's pretty crazy in there locked away we have got the werewolf because of course when there's a full moon he chains himself up and he stays up here to keep everybody at safe distance and then of course he's got a lot of lotions and potions about his laptop so he can monitor when the full moon is he is misunderstood he just wants to find a cure he just wants to be normal that is the end of today's challenge that was sims 4 a room it's a different halloween monster i hope you enjoyed this one and i'll catch you guys in the next video happy halloween guys